Hey everyone, just letting uh, the world on Twitter know that we are playing some Lonely Karn, so thanks for joining me. Um, yeah, this is a very interesting uh, solo game. It is a game where we are reliving the, uh, the Franklin expedition, I believe, to the Arctic in the mid-19th century. Uh, the HMS, let's see here, the HMS Terror and the Erebus. Um, so this is just a prototype. Uh, keep that in mind as we, we play and, and or if you watch later on. Um, this is uh, not finished. There's going to be even better artwork coming. Obviously, these are just uh, printed out cards. Um, but this is, I think the look that it's going to have is it's going to have this realistic look um for the game but let's take a look at how to play and what's going on here with the setup and so forth uh first of all we have our locations and it's just not wide enough to see well in one shot you could set it up uh, left right if you want or do what i did where we have location one two three four five six seven eight and then our destination over here uh the beaufort c and with that if we can get to our destination um, which is going to be filling up with ice during the preparation phase of each round. Uh, if we can get there without it being full of uh, eight ice, which would block us from entering it, then we win the game. Um, but there's going to be lots of bad things that are happening in our... In fact, I'm going to scoot some of this over so we can see a little better here. But we have our uh, supplies. We have here our crew health and our crew morale and uh, our whole strength here. Um, again, this is just uh, kind of prototyping. So these are not final. This is going to be the ice that we encounter each round. Uh, so this is called the ice pool. And then we have over here, these are our... Oh, hey, how are you doing? I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys this weekend. Um, over here are our encounters which we're going to get to in a second so the uh, first thing you do to set up is you put your um, well you put your locations out you put all these things out but your you don't use all of your um, supplies there's actually more supplies but you pick out uh, 16 which is a little bit different than the original print and play but you pick out 16 of these supplies um, they have like a cost uh, sorry not a cost but a, a uh, a number up here that will do you'll see different things in the game and then they have different abilities so the better the number up here the less abilities that they'll have down here and vice versa um, so i've already picked out 16 and then over here we randomly get 25 encounters that i don't know what's in there uh they're going to be bad things i really hope the scurvy card is not in there because the scurvy card is awful and it um basically keeps killing off your health every every round so you have to try to move quickly up to the beaufort c um what have you been uh playing lately clay uh and also do you want to play something this this uh coming weekend i'm, I'm gonna be up for grand con and i'm super looking forward to it so i'm gonna start picking my um i get six cards here from my supply one two three four five and six and then I get to keep four and I have to discard two. So I'm going to keep, let's see, the Lucky Charm. That's a good one. Uh, I don't think I need my Winter Gear yet because that gains health. Um, I mean, do you want to teach me something this weekend? Uh, I, I, since I taught you you all Golem, uh, I'd be up for that. Or we could just play what? I, I don't know. There's tons of great games right now. Um, I am bringing foundations of rome because tim wanted to play that dice and games i'm going to keep that explosives i'm going to keep that and let's see rescue party i think i'm going to get rid of rescue party because that one can be dangerous i can lose people with that but i'm going to keep my charismatic leader okay so now i'm down to four cards in hand and let's see what else am i bringing i was thinking about bringing a bunch of root uh not that i want to try that but i enjoy it and haven't gotten to play it much lately um 
if you want to, I don't know, any, anything you want to try, I do have Silicon Valley and Lost Empires if you want to try those. And I played Silicon Valley plenty that I could teach it quickly if you are if you are interested in it. Um, yeah. Okay, so at the beginning you, uh, of each round, uh, play Brian Bro. Oh. Brian Boro, I have been looking for that. If you uh, if you want to share Brian Boro, I love uh, the King is Dead Second Edition, so I, I would definitely be up for uh, Vikings and Pierre Sylvester stuff. Um, okay, so preparation, uh, we we have our cards in hand. We have to add ice here to the destination. Um, that's kind of hard to see because it's white on white. I guess that's kind of the point in the Arctic though. Um, and then we uh, venture into Baffin Bay. So this number here means how mu many uh, ice we're going to add to the ice pool. So that's two to the ice pool. And then that means we're going to have one encounter. Now I might have um, cards in my hand that would let me add encounters to do something good. But I don't think I would want to play that right now anyways. Uh, basically when this I ice pool gets to 10, I have to stop where I'm at. And then we do a recover phase. But we're going to do this. So since we just have one, I'm going to flip that. And a storm happens, and because we're here, I'll zoom in here. Um, because we're between zero and uh, four, that's the first one here. We lose one, um, one cost. If we were at five or more, we lose four and add an ice to the destination, which would be really bad. And then blown off course. If there are eight or more up here. Then we move the ship to the previous location, which wouldn't actually be that bad right now. But um, so right now I have to lose one from my hand. I guess I'll lose. Um, I'm going to lose my uh, charismatic leader. That's part of the reason I kept that one. Just in case I needed some. OK, so that's all that happens there. So I can continue on. That's not too bad right now. Um, let's take a look at what these do, though, real quick. Lucky Charm is, uh, during any phase, I can do Sailor's Superstition. When a um, number value is revealed, immediately disregard it and draw another one instead. So that's pretty good, especially if uh, the encounter is going to do something weird to me. And then Dice and Games is uh, Regroup Phase. So again, it's Preparation Phase, Encounter Phase, and then Regrouping. Um, during Regrouping, let's see, I can choose to do that. That's right now. I, I I can choose to recover or not, or just go and 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 continue with encounters. So after encounters of da, 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 yeah yeah okay I'm good. So this one is um, if I reveal a one or two. So this would be right now. I'd have to play it. if I reveal a one or two from here. I lose one health. Uh, if I get a three through five, reveal another card to replace the last result. So we are, are literally playing dice and games. And if I get a six, so yeah, 16% chance there. Big win, gain two um, crew morale or draw two supply cards. That could be super helpful. I'm going to hold on to that one. And then the last one is explosives. If I draw one or two, and this would be during the encounter phase, during um, this phase before those are revealed, I can uh, draw from my supplies. And if it's one or two, ice is too thick, time wasted, add one ice. And, oh, hey, Ben. Um, and then three through five, remove two ice. And if I get a six, then I get to break the ice apart and remove two ice from the ice pool and do that. So those are all good cards to draw right away. Actually, I... I for how high the numbers are, those are those are pretty good effects too. All right, so we're gonna continue on in our expedition with the HMS Terror. Uh, the Terror is gonna go to Lancaster Sound. I, I guess I should read the little uh, flavor text here too. It says July 26, 1845. Lancaster Sound was the entrance of the Northwest Passage. It was here that HMS Erebus and Terror were last seen by whalers sailing north. Okay, so we're going to enter there. We get two more ice into our ice pool. And then we're going to draw two encounters. And right now is when I would need to decide if I was going to use uh, the, the... I don't think I want to use my explosives yet because I might need that for other things. And they can do 
there's a small chance it could do something bad. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to wait on that. Uh, yeah. I, I, okay, let's see what these bad things are that are going to happen to me. Uh, the first one is uh, sunless days. So sunless days, it says that if there is zero to four, I lose one of my uh, encounter uh, of one of my supply and add another encounter. That's what the star there means. So I have to add a another. Okay, so I have to choose one of these. You know what? I'm going to lose... Um, I'm going to lose the explosives because there's a chance that those explosives might hurt me. I'm, I'm not super confident on that. So I'm going to lose the explosives. Uh, but I do have to add another encounter to what's happening here. And then we flip that one over and that one is extreme temperatures. So we are between zero and four. The things that would happen are uh, zero degrees Celsius, 32 Fahrenheit, lose one health at five or more in the in the pool up here i would ha uh, which is negative 20 celsius negative four fahrenheit lose two health and at nine or more um you lose two health and one morale um clay asked who's putting this game out this is going to be out hopefully this fall the art is 95 percent done this was a print and play by a guy from uh, mike hot from new zealand uh catastrophe uh, who I do some work for is putting this out. That's why I have the prototype. Um, actually, I'll, I'll bring it with me if you want to look at it. If, if you like solo games, it's a nice little solo game. It's it's really easy to learn. And then, um, all right, so I, I'm going to lose one health. Um, but it's, an, it's a really nice little solo game. And it has some variability because and uh, these there's there's more supply cards. That I didn't use because you choose which to play, and then the encounters are random. So there's, oh, uh, I don't know, about ten more encounters. So the games are different a little bit each time. Um, about probably about twenty five, thirty. Yeah, it's it, it's a it, it it was based on a book. I'm gonna blank on the name of the book, but if you look up Mike's uh, blog, you, you can read about the book that he read. And then I guess these two ships were found in the Arctic in like 2014, 2016 um beneath beneath the uh the the um ice sheets they, they finally found them down at the bottom of the ocean and um okay so i have my stuff i lost some health we have one more encounter at this location restless crew uh oh i, I know this card restless crew um Oh, it's fine though, because I have eight. Uh, yeah, this is this one can be really annoying later on, because what this one is, is it says, uh, if you have eight or seven um, crew morale, you lose two supply. Let's go. I'm gonna have to choose something there. Um, corporal punishment is the second one. If you have six or five uh, in your morale then you lose a health and four supply. And then finally, if you're really low, and this is where it hit me last time I was playing this game, but if you're really low, if you have four or less morale, you lose two health and six supply, which would probably mean you're going to lose all your cards and you're going to lose health when you're already hurting on health. So uh, that mutiny going on, it really is annoying, but uh, I'm not at that point. So I just lose two supply. So this is the point where maybe I should stop because I've gotten two cards done and nothing too bad has happened. All that has happened so far is that I've lost one health and we've had one ice enter, which is seasonally appropriate into our destination in the Beaufort Sea. So let's see here. Um, I'm Yeah, I'm not going to push it. I get to hold on to this card in my hand, which is the Lucky Charm. I'm going to hold on to that one and I'm going to um, go ahead and go to uh, the recover phase. So th technically we were in the re regroup phase because it goes preparation, encounter, regroup, and then you can go back to the encounter or go on. And uh, right now, instead of going back to the encounter, I'm going to go to the regroup phase, which means that we clear our ice pool out. And if there's any other ongoing things that cards might say, you would do that too. But I just get to clear out my ice cube 
uh, my ice pool, not my ice cube, my ice pool. I'm going to draw six new supply cards. Add those to the one I already have. And then I um, discard back down to four. Apply. Okay, so I'm going to keep my lucky charm unless something really good comes up here. But let's see what we have. We have the national flag. Um, may be played only while at the destination. That's not great for me. So I'm just going to discard that one right away. Oh, no, I destroyed my boat. Uh, my ship. Okay. Oh, the Congreve Rockets. These are, this is kind of a cool card. I like this card. This one is um, you can play it during the encounter phase. You can either prevent the loss of morale or uh, get rid of a polar bear, basically. So I'm going to keep that one because it's a good card. I did sink, sink my battleship. The terror, the terror is below the waves. Um, <laughs> extra, extra crew, extra crew is a good one. Um, light work add plus one to anyone reveal result. That's actually really good. So I'm going to keep that one. And then carnival costumes, revelry use one supply to gain a morale or two supply to gain one morale or use, uh, let's see here. What's the last one here? Use three supply to gain three morale. I think that's a misprint. I think it should be two for two. Yeah. I think that's a misprint. So, uh, I don't think I want to keep that one because I don't really need that yet. It also has dark humor. Immediately shuffle a boredom encounter card back into the counter deck, which I don't know. I don't know if that's useful or not because I, I don't know what encounters are in there. Uh, ominous Karn, fall back, lose one morale, and discard this card to immediately cancel all encounter cards here. And then the ship halts. I don't want that. I don't want that either. So I'm going to keep the log book, which is make an entry, gain one morale or one health for each location traveled to this turn. Okay. So those are, those are some good cards. I'm happy with that. We're going to have to add one more ice uh, because it continues on no matter whether we move or not. Ice has added to the Beaufort Sea and we move on to Beachy Island. Uh, Beachy Island means we add three ice to the ice pool and two encounters are going to come out. And it says down here, um, first of all, if we're still here during the preparation phase, we're going to add one health, one morale, and one uh, whole strength back. So that's cool. But it says, winter of 1845-1846, the expedition spent the winter camping on Beachy Island where, the, uh, where three died of tuberculosis in 1846 the men were buried on the island and if you're really um macabre you can find photos of um some of the the men who died out there um i guess or if you're interested but again historical flavor uh real things so okay so two encounters three ice in our ice bowl i think we're ready to go Let's find out what bad things happen to us now. That's uh, the alternate name of this game. Let's find out what bad things happen to us now. Uh, heavy ice pack. So it says if we're at zero to four, we add two ice to the ice pool. Do I have a way to ignore that? I don't like that. Uh, it's not awful though, uh, but it can make other bad things happen later on. Um, I don't think I have a way to ignore that. I, I could. Um, my extra crew does allow me to remove ice from the Beaufort Sea, so I should remember that too. Um, no, 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 no. Yeah, okay, so that's just going to happen. We had two to the ice pool. Not the worst thing, but it might make... Uh, <laughs> I mean, would that make it more likely that people would buy the game or uh avoid the game uh with that tagline i, I don't know um it's just going to make it more likely with all this ice that bad things are going to happen to us let's see if more bad things happen to us now um okay man overboard i hate this card um because it's going to make us reveal a card i and if we have a one through four which is two-thirds uh, of the cards uh, it means that we, um, so I have a choice here. I can either try to rescue the people. And if I fail because I reveal uh, one through four, then I lose three crew morale. 
if I succeed by getting a five or six, then I gain one morale, which is cool, although I can't gain more than what's on there already. So, um, or I could just straight up lose two morale by pressing on. You know what? I'm going to press on. I am a heartless captain. I uh, I don't I don't think I care enough for my crew. So I'm going to press on. I'm going to press on. I'm going to lose the two. We're going to keep going, and we've lost two, and then we are going to uh, go right into the barrow straight. Um, so we have pressed on. We have to add three more ice, which puts us at 5-8. Uh, uh, almost at that 10. That makes us forcibly stop. Uh, the barrel straight. And the barrel straight is going to give us three encounters. But I still have four cards in hand, so I'm not too worried. We're actually doing pretty good. Um, barrel straight says, In the late summer of 1846, after uh, wintering at Beachy Island, the expedition set off west through the barrel straight and then south to Peel Sound between Prince of Wales and Somerset Islands. So we are at the Barrow Strait. What evils shall befall us now? First one is extreme temperatures. I'm all surprised. Okay. Um, again, zero, negative 20. <laughs> so, yeah. so we're going to lose two health because we're almost at the nine. Um, yeah. Now, now's when it's it starts to be uh, not so good. See you, Clay. Uh, yeah, let me let me know. Uh, hit me up on, on Facebook, whatever. Looking forward to getting a game in this weekend with you. Thanks for stopping by. Or uh, oh no, no no, I just got it. I just got the that the the dad joke. Clay said uh, that's cold when. Um, I don't know whether referring to my decision as captain or the negative 20 degrees Celsius it was. He wasn't saying goodbye. He was he was making a dad joke that I should have gotten right away, but I, I didn't because, uh, yeah. Anyways, okay. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm laughing as I, I flip over a card that says food shortage. Um, that, that seems appropriate, but not. Not at all. No, it's not appropriate. Um, food shortage. My choices are to cut rations and lose half of my morale rounded down. So I'd be down to three morale here. Uh, or send out hunting parties, add one ice to the destination. I hate that. Um, so let's see what my cards are again. Um I have my Congreve rocket uh, and now you'll see why I like this card. So I'm going to put, uh, we're going to go ahead and do um, cut rations is my choice. I, I don't know how this makes sense. Uh, like completely th thematically, maybe I went out and shot my rocket into a polar bear, but I get to play this card uh, right now during the encounter phase and prevent the loss of the morale from the current encounter card. And then I discard it. So I don't lose anything, even though I had that. Seems like a good trade-off. Food shortage. I shoot a rocket, hit a polar bear. Everybody's happy tonight. And uh, But don't actually. This is 1846. There's lots of polar bears, and, and the polar caps aren't melting, right? Um, Icebound. Um, this one says, okay, this one says, Stay with the ship. Discard explosives from your hand, which I do not have. I could have had. I don't have. Uh, or the ship is halted, which is interesting. I'd kind of like to go on. Make camp on land. I would lose two morale. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to continue on because as long as I can keep doing things with this many cards in hand, I'm going to... I'm going to do that because my log book, remember, lets me gain um, one morale or one health for each location traveled. So I would have uh, traveled two. So I think. OK, so I can get those two morale back. All right, let's see what happens. We're going to go on to Larson Sound. Actually, this is I'm going to count because let's see here. We've played one, two, one, two. 
I have three cards left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is actually only my second turn. Oh, it's actually, so that's three. Okay, cool. Okay, we're going to keep going. We're going to press on then. Um, this is going to make a stop though, because um, this will add so much ice. Can I even do that? This is the first time I've, I've done this well. So I'm going to pull up my handy dandy frequently asked questions. Um, blah, 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 blah. I, I, I think, I don't know. This is my fourth time playing the game and I haven't had that. I, I think I could go and I just have to halt. I'm going to have to halt uh, here at Larson sound. Um, I'm going to be, Revealing three encounter cards. And Larson Sound says, uh, 12th September 1846, the ships encountered heavy ice when they arrived in Larson Sound. After fighting to make progress, they were beset and forced to winter on the ice. Ah, that's awful. Okay. Uh, okay, all right. So, um... Okay, I do have some good things I can still do. I'm just making sure I know what those things are. All right, we're going to reveal our first one here. The first one is, uh, oh, and I think even, show, did I show you Larson Sound? There's Larson Sound. There we go. It looks like a bunch of ice with a ship, and that's all it looks like. Here, here we'll, we'll move this over a little bit so we can see that a little bit. There we go. There's Larson. We're, we're making progress through the Arctic. Okay, the enemy within. Discontent. If you have eight to five morale, lose to supply. Um, I don't. <laughs> this is not good. Uh, mutinous actions. If you have four to three morale, I do lose two health. Okay. So that's what's going to happen. Do I have any way to prevent that? Um, no. Okay. So I, I'm losing two health. So my health has gone from eight to three and my morale has gone from eight to four i still have a very healthy ship though with four uh <laughs> four four whole strength to it okay that's bad uh next one we have will i make it to erebus bay this time that's the real question i, I don't know if it's even possible to win this game this game hates me um let um, no i'm sure it is it, it just you have to make all the right decisions because the world is literally trying to kill you all right choice encounter choose one court martial i can either let the infraction slide and discard two supply for each of the ice at the destination Ooh. so do i have enough i would have to get rid of my log book and i kind of need that log book or i can you make use of capital punishment and lose two. Oh no. Lose two morale. I guess that's what I have to do because I, I have to get that. Uh... Well, in my, it's about the same. Well, no, it's not because I can get three back. So I'm going to, I'm going to lose two morale. That's, that's bad. The morale has gone very low because we just executed the mutinous individual uh, on the HMS Terror. And uh, last card here is Aurora Borealis. Encounter, if you have eight to seven morale, remove an ice. Grim importance, if you have six to five, add an ice. Red Sky of Doom, if you have four or less morale, Add two encounters. I don't. Uh, I don't have a way to deal with that. Um, so we're adding two encounters. All right. There it is. The red sky of doom. There it. All right. First one, collision. After reveal. Okay. All right. I, th this I actually have something to do with. Uh, let's reveal. We reveal a four. Uh, major damage, lose one whole strength. I could. 
Um, I could use my extra crew. I, you know, I'm going to let that go. I'm going to let that happen. And then the next one is polar bear attack. Oh no, I already got rid of my rockets. Um, and I have to reveal and I have a one, which means I'm going to lose my two crew morale. Um, I could, I could disregard. I'm not going to, uh, because I have to get a six to gain health. Um, so that's the only way to get good things. Okay. So I have lost my crew morale. We're stuck in the ice. Um, now I'm going to do my stuff during the recovery phase. Um, I'm going to keep my lucky charm still. And, um, I guess I'm going to keep extra crew still and I will use my log book cause I went one, two and three to get three, um, morale back. So I'm back at three morale and three health. Oh, I forgot to get rid of that whole strength. Okay. There we go. Three, three, three. Looks like a solo game you'd enjoy. Uh, yes, we're going to crowdfund it as soon as the art is done. Um, the game's done. It's just getting the art done and then picking some components. I think we're going to try to pick something more fun for the ice instead of just white cubes. So they're like little white crystals or something like that. Um, yeah. Okay. Sorry. I, I, I was feeling a little down in the dumps about my, um, the, the, the state of my crew and the terror. We, we were doing super well. And then all of a sudden all these bad things happened on this ice flow. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure we ha we have, we have one game coming out before this and then this one will be the, later this fall. But, um, I, I just wanted to stream it tonight cause I actually enjoyed it today when I was getting my plays in to be <laughs> ready to bring it back to Grand Rapids this weekend. This is just me enjoying the, the game. Thanks Clay. I, I, I appreciate you, uh, sharing that you like it and that you'll be on the lookout for it. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll have it with me this weekend too. If you want to look at it more. Uh, okay. So I drew six new cards. I kept my lucky charm and my extra crew. Let's see if, what I get rid of. Um, let's keep charismatic leader. Oh, we get to clear this off. Okay. And, uh, Oh, the winter gear. Yes. Yes, that's good. Okay. Um, I'm getting rid of rescue party for sure. Spare parts, canned food, because half the time that's bad. Because the seals on their food, canned food was like a relatively new idea, and they had used lead to seal up their, their uh, cans. And they... they <laughs> When they went to get it, like um, 40 to 50% of their food had lead dripping like wax down into the food. So it was uh, disgusting. Uh, there's all sorts of um, amazing things about this uh, time period and, and the exploration that went on here. They, they're really well stocked ships, but uh, obviously um, terrible conditions. And I'm going to get rid of diving suit. Okay. So I have my four cards. And we're going to continue on with our, um, with our journey. Now we're at King William Island, not, not Prince William, but King William. And it says, uh, during the preparation phase, you can add a heart, a morale and a, um, and I need to add one ice to our destination too, but add, uh, one of each type to the ship, to the morale, to the crew. Spring 1847, with the ship still stuck in steadfast, the famous Lonely Carn was erected on the northwest pair of the islands, uh, sorry, point of the island. On the 11th of June, Sir John Franklin suddenly died, leaving Francis Crozier in command. So, four ice into the ice pool. Hey, Rich. I thought you might like this game. It is a really neat, and it makes me want to go read more about it. Like I, I love a historical game that makes me want to read more about stuff. So this definitely gets into that. And, um, well, 
we'll research the little game. Okay, so I have to see if I can get through these next three encounters. We are at three ice at our destination, so actually not doing bad there. Um, but not doing so hot with three health, three morale. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, okay, faulty boil amp. Yeah. Okay, so they used uh, train engines for, for their boiler, uh, or tra train boilers, locomotive ones. Um, oh, nice, Clay. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, it, 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 right now I'm re reading another um, Neil Bascom book, and um, I'll probably find the book about this next. But anyways, um, faulty boiler. So I have to attempt repairs or I can strip down the boiler and add one ice to the destination. You know what? We're not doing bad. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to risk losing because if, even if I, if I'm not successful and there's a two thirds chance that I'm not successful, I'm going to lose two parts of my, um, whole strength so i don't want to do that i'm just going to add one ice to the destination and we're going to keep moving through our encounters all right the next one is boredom um reveal okay i got i have to reveal there's no choice on this one so it's a four um which means it's a coral lose one health or one morale i don't want to do that do i have something that helps out with my reveal um these are both for the regroup phase um, here's one, but that one helped me a lot. When a uh, supplier value is revealed, immediately disregard it and draw another. Can I do better than four? I don't know if I want to do better. I might want to just get add one ice to the ice pool, which is one through three. I mean, even six would be better uh, because that's just randomly discard a supply card from the hand. That would be better than losing my health or morale. So... Um, yeah, I'm going to use my lucky charm finally. Um, I'm going to uh, do that, get rid of the explosives, and reveal another card. And hopefully something, it's a one, so I just add one to the ice pool. That's that's a better result for me. Um, but that's boredom. Boredom is not good. It does things that aren't great, uh, especially when you're uh, trying to get through the Ar Arctic. Okay, and then our last reveal. Really, I could halt, and then I would get the benefits of the preparation. Of Ed, that's this is not. I'm, I'm doing this is probably my best playthrough so far. Uh, so I'm I'm feeling good, but not gonna not not gonna get too excited yet. Um, if I get up here and this is still low, then then I'm gonna be excited. But we'll see. Ice encounter, of course, it's an ice encounter, which means we are stir crazy, and we lose two supply and add two encounters um man i really wanted to keep my winter gear i could get rid of extra crew i'm gonna get rid of extra crew and all right two more encounters two more encounters it is uh locked in ice uh with ice bound add four ice and halt the ship well i was already gonna stop anyways that's fine um, so we have two, four, five, nine. Yep. Nine. And because I have seven plus ice in the ice pool, I lose one, uh, whole strength. So we're down to two whole strength and that's what happens. There's that card. That's, it's kind of a cool looking card locked in ice. Some of them just look like ice and some snow, <laughs> but there, there's that one. Um, fatigue is our next encounter card. Uh, choose one hard yards reveal. If I fail, I lose two health. If I succeed, which is one out of three chance with five and six, I gain health or rest the crew, halt the ship. You know what? I'm already halted. So I'm going to choose that. Um, so I'm rested that that's the best possible outcome there. And now we are done. We remove all this ice from the ice pool. We get ready again. Draw six cards. I still have in hand. Well, actually, I do this before we start the new one. I'm going to play because uh, it's the regroup phase now. I have um, So we had nine here. 
because this technically happens in this order. Nine, uh, gain two morale because I am enduring and I have a charismatic leader. So gain two morale. This will really help out. And then winter gear uh, because we're at uh, nine plus an ice pool. We I get three health back. So that really stopping here and uh, being able to get through three last time was, was a big boon to me. Okay, now we're going to do the uh, recover phase where we will clear that. We're into the preparation phase. I'm going to draw my six cards. And what do I want to keep? Logbook for sure. Congreve Rocket for sure. I don't want the Ominous. Um, you know what? I'm going to keep the Ominous Karn because that lets me get rid of all encounters sometimes. So maybe I do want to do that. One, two, three... And let's see, I don't want the national flag because I can't use that. Let's keep. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Dicing Games. I'm not messing with that right now. Let's keep Carnival Costumes. Okay. And uh, we add one ice to the destination. So we're at five there. We're getting close to dangerous. But if we keep moving next time. Uh, okay. So we get one health back because uh, we're in the preparation phase and we're at um, King William Island. We get one morale back and we get one whole strength back. This is about as good as it could be at this stage in the game. I'm very ooh, close to hopeful, but we'll see what happens with the uh, with encounters because the encounters don't like us. Okay, so now we are going to um, move our ship up to Erebus Bay which is going to give us four encounters. Four encounters. And four ice, an ice pool. And it says, 22nd April, 1847. The ships were finally abandoned in the ice, and Crozier made camp with the 105 surviving members of the crew on King William Island. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a picture there. Okay. So we are on Erebus Bay, named for the smaller of the two ships, I believe. And we have some encounters to happen. So let's see. And remember, I do have uh, that uh, ominous Karn, so I could lose one morale. I, now I can afford to lose the morale and discard the card to cancel all encounters here, but, which I would have to halt, but I only need two more locations. And if I can end my turn on Beaufort C without being dead or smashed or lost all morale, I can win, which would be amazing. So let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, first one, navigate the ice flows. Um, choices are blast through, add two ice and one encounter or second shortcut through the pack. Add one ice and two encounters. Oh, I don't love that choice. You know, I'm I'm going to do I'm going to do the ominous carn right now. I'm getting rid of every, that encounter and every other encounter. I'm just gonna halt and that's it um, because, yeah, it says lose one morale. Okay, I lost my one morale. That's fine. Discard the card to immediately cancel all encounters here, and the ship halts. Okay, so we're at the end. Uh, we clear these again, and I think that was a good choice. We are uh, preparing again, so we're going to uh, get our six cards, add one to the destination. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I only get to keep four. I still have three in hand, so I have lots of choices. I think that's the other good reason for me to just stop there was to have a good uh, pie. Okay, and here's the ominous Karn again, so I'm just going to keep – it seems kind of broken um, that I could get that back in my hand, but um, – Yeah, I'm just going to keep that one and discard everything else and keep what I had. Well, maybe maybe I want to get rid of the carnival. Um, 
in favor of Lucky Charm. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of my Carnival uh, costumes for Lucky Charms. And all right, we're going to go on into Terror Bay, named after HMS Terror. There's that. Summer 1848. Crozier led the survivors on a grueling 250-mile, 400-kilometer march down King William Island across the Simpson Strait and then disappeared into the Canadian wilderness. This is location 8. We have five ice in the ice pool and four encounters. So here's one, two, and then I have to actually shuffle the encounter deck. That's the first time uh, I've gotten this far. So maybe I've learned things. Clay is heading out for real this time. He's not making a dad joke. Thanks, Clay. We'll see you. <laughs> Thanks for checking out the game and hanging out. Uh, right now it is print and play only, but the print and play won't have this art. Um, we are going to bring it to uh, crowdfunding later this fall. And... Um, it, it will have better art, better components than this. This is just a prototype, um, but I was really enjoying it. I, I was prepping for this weekend, um, and I, I was actually enjoying it, and so I thought I would share it with, with everybody. Um, that's, But that's why it uh, has the print, print, print and play stuff. So, uh, okay, I need, let's see here, two more encounter cards. And yeah, there are a couple changes to the rules, maybe a couple added cards. Uh, so it's a little bit different than, than the print and play too, from what I understand. I, I never did the original print and play, so I don't know for sure. But I do know that um, I looked at some of the stuff and, and, and some of the stuff looked different. I know the art is obviously different too. Okay, let's see what our first encounter is. Uh, it's back to Sunless Days. Um, because we're at five plus, um, ice in the ice pool. Oh no. Ooh, I, I, oh, um, yeah, the, the boat is having a hard time. Okay. Uh, five plus in the ice pool, lose two supply and add two encounters. Um, I'm going to pull the same stunt I pulled last time. Um, and just get rid of the ominous carn. And this one is an ode to Crozet. I think I lucked out on uh, timing there. And I discard that because I don't want to have five encounters. Yeah, that seems like the best course of action. Uh, we're going to clear that. Uh, we'll go into the prep uh, preparation phase. I... I'm going to draw my new six cards. One, two, three, four, five. This is definitely the luckiest I, I've gotten on my, my card pulls and things like that. But I, I also think I have gotten a little better at building uh, my my supply deck um, and knowing what I want in there. And I'm pretty sure, because I haven't seen it yet, that there's no scurvy here. I got scurvy twice in previous games, and scurvy really messed me up made it much harder okay so do i want to keep any of this i don't want rescue party i don't do i want spare parts uh you know i'm going to keep uh charismatic leader and get rid of all that and put another ice into the beaufort sea here we are at the destination this is my first this is my first time getting to the beaufort sea so i i'm excited i haven't even read the card before so uh, this is location i'm um the Beaufort Sea, the de destination, we're going to be revealing five encounters. There's going to be six ice up here in the ice pool. Um, it says, had Franklin's expedition been able to travel 125 miles, 200 kilometers to the southwest, they would have completed the Northwest Passage and victoriously sailed through the Beaufort Sea. Uh, wow. Okay. I mean... Almost feels like a letdown, but uh, not really because it's my first time getting up there. So, uh, cool. I, I'm getting up here. Uh, let's see if I can manage to make it to the end of this turn. If I can, I think I win. I think that's it. Um, all right. So, 
First encounter, Terra Incognita. Terra Incognita. Stay on course, add one encounter. This is a choice one, so I get to choose what happens. Or chart passage, add two encounters and remove one ice at the destination. Um, I'm going to add one encounter. Yeah, I'm going to add one encounter. That's what I'm going to do. Um, so this one, we'll just put it at the bottom down there and go to the next one. And salvage is our next encounter. Reveal. Okay, so we have to reveal. And we have a four, which means abandon sledge. Add two ice and recover one card from the supply discard pile. Recover. I've never recovered before. Uh, I'm going to assume that means... I'm going to assume that means that I get to just take a card out of there. Back into my hand. I, I would assume that's what recover means. So I'm going to take, I'm going to, um, I'm going to recover explosives. Um, all right. So, and then let's see here. We started with four. We added, let me make sure I have all the right ice here. Yep, and we already added the two, so we have six ice in the ice pool. All right, the next one is Court Marshal. Again, uh, I could either discard two supplier for each, so that, which would be uh, at the destination, two, four, six, seven. Uh, it says discipline aboard ships was important, but so too was knowing what punishments to mete out in certain situations. I could discard two supply for each ice at the destination. So that would cost me 14. I don't think I want to do that. I'm going to lose two morale. I think we can make it to the end and do this. Okay. I had a capital punishment happen again. I'm an awful captain. I'm, or I'm very stern. I guess everything's black and white. Uh, faulty boiler again, attempt repairs or strip down boilers, add one ice to the destination. What, uh, if I, I gotta check my win lose conditions here because I am one away from losing, I think. So, um, if the destination has more than eight ice, so I can do eight ice or, ooh. Okay, I think this time I'm going to discard. Uh, sorry, not discard. I'm going to try to reveal and see if I either lose two health on my engine or I gain one. So let's see what happens. Uh, four, which would mean that I lose two health or whole strength. Um, is there anything I can do that? Uh, I guess oh that's okay I have one whole strength left it's gonna it's gonna be close let's see here um one whole strength left and restless crew minor infractions if you have eight or seven uh morale lose two supply but we're down here at the bottom. We have to suppress a mutiny. If you have four or less, lose two health and six supply. Okay, we can do it though. Six supply would be, let's get rid of, um, let's get rid of the lucky charm and our, uh, well, we might need the charismatic leader, so, I'm going to say Lucky Charm and Explosives. It's more than we need, it, but we almost, we're almost there anyways. We have only one more encounter card to get through, so let's see if we do it. It is Extreme Temperatures again. Okay, so we have three, six, seven. Is that right? No, six. Six. Um, lose to health. So we have done it. We made it through the Northwest Passage, and on, that's my first time winning the game. 
uh, that was cool. Technically, during the regroup phase, I could um, regroup. I, I could get uh, another morale with my charismatic leader. Um, no, nothing else from the Congreve rocket. I could uh, gain one one uh, heart back too from my logbook. Um, so that that was cool. I might have read the logbook wrong earlier. I'll have to take a look at that one later on. But but uh, these cards aren't quite final anyway. So but I, I had fun. That's the best I've I've done with that. Hopefully I didn't cheat to win. But um, you get the general sense of the game. Uh, it's a hard game. I I I, I have uh, it. It's a punishing game. A game that that wants you to experience that it's not an easy thing to go through the Arctic, but it's not a hard game to learn. So I appreciate the, about the game. I will share more of it when I know more of it, but thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out and uh, happy game and hope you have a good week. Thanks for stopping by everybody who stopped by. It was fun to hang out.